Welcome back everybody to the 5 p.m. update on now tropical storm Debbie. So let's start first with why it became a tropical storm and acquired the name Debbie. If you look here at the visible satellite imagery, you can see that the center of circulation has finally pulled away from the western side of Cuba and it's starting to fill in. You're starting to see better structure in the satellite imagery and it has now become a tropical storm and acquired the name Debbie. Now where is Debbie going to go? Let's, uh, let's take a look at the overall uh, track moving off towards the north, uh, making landfall somewhere in the Florida Big Bend area as a hurricane. This is important. There's an H on here as a hurricane and there's now a hurricane warning. This is new for 5 p.m. A hurricane warning for portions of the Florida Panhandle flanked on either side here by tropical storm warnings. So the blue area here denoting tropical storm warnings basically along the entire Florida West Coast. Now this is the poster child for not focusing on the cone. Look how far these watches and warnings extend outside of the cone and maybe you're asking yourself why. With well, this orange area down here denotes the current size of the tropical storm force winds. See how it's sort of skewed off to the right here. So if you sort of march those tropical storm force winds along the center of the cone or even to the east side of the cone, you can see how it's gonna scrape the west side of the Florida Peninsula producing tropical storm force winds. So even if you're out of the cone, if you're in this colored area, you have to take this seriously for a host of hazards, not just the wind. And we'll come back to the other hazards in a second. Now what happens after it moves over the Florida um, Panhandle, Northern Florida here, it moves up in here somewhere over the southeast United States coast or just offshore and basically slows down to a crawl or even stalls. Now this is not good regardless of the strength that it may have out here and we'll come back to that in a second. So let's look at, we also have now a storm surge warning in effect for again portions of the Florida Panhandle, this darker uh, purple here is a storm surge warning, storm surge warning. And this is the reason some of you may have been asked to evacuate. Some of you are under uh, evacuation orders. If you are under those evacuation orders, it is time to take those seriously because we evacuate for storm surge. In terms of the maximum storm surge, you start to see why you're under a storm surge warning. Some of these values have increased over the last 24 hours as it became clearer and clearer that Debbie was gonna become a hurricane before making landfall. You can see here some of the areas up here, the nature coast of Florida, Big Bend, four to seven feet, four to seven feet. Now I stand six feet tall, so that's potentially over my head. You can see why evacuations are in play for this area. Now that's not the only hazard we got to worry about. I said earlier that it's going to get up in here somewhere over the southeast United States or just off the coast and basically slow down or stall. This, if this materializes, this is going to be a big rain event and a big flooding event. This is a classic case of why you cannot focus on the wind speed or the peak wind intensity of the Saffir Simpson scale. A lot of you are going to see this and say it's just just a tropical storm and that's going to be a mistake because as it slows to a crawl or moves very very slowly here it's just going to dump a lot of rain and especially if you're in this red area here this red area here big risk of flooding so big risk of flooding starting as soon as monday lasting several days next week why look at how much rain we could potentially get out of this system over 10 inches of rain possible in these areas here. And if there's any sort of onshore flow around the eastern side and there's some storm surge that goes with this heavy rain, we're just going to have a big flooding event along the southeast coast. So please do not look at this as just a tropical storm. This has the potential to be a major flood event for somebody here in the southeast. Obviously the details uh, are yet to be determined, but this is why we need you to stay tuned frequently through the weekend. Uh, come back, we'll have more live streams for you tomorrow at 11 and 5 p.m. again. And as always, you can get updates from us at any time at hurricanes.gov.